Oh wait. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hi. So, today I'm going to be doing my Laos video. And so, basically, I had a vote. Another vote asking my audience. And this will be the fourth installment of the Is Not Your Friend series. Uh, where y'all voted. Less than two people voted to give to make me do the last video eight of y'all wanted me to do vietnam <laughs> but don't worry we'll do vietnam uh maybe uh we'll just have to hold that for another vote <laughs> but uh credit to white cat and white and yellow cat uh for the sources for this video as well as i got another one from a friend of mine a uh, person I met on Discord where they gave me a bunch of other things where basically it kind of explains like a little bit about Laos. It's like a 17 video playlist where it talks about their civil war uh, as well as during the Vietnam War as well. A little bit of history so you guys can go check that out as well. And I also have some other sources that are also from my Malice archive which my friend from Six Head Study Circle so everybody thinks I'm a Gonzalo White. Oh my god. Uh, oh, the Falcone General, guys. Watch out. She's a Gonzalo White. <laughs> okay. So this was a discussion from the Wilson Center. Discussion between Mao Zedong and K-Stone. Oh, fuck. I can't pronounce that. As well, I will put these in the link down in the descriptions for interesting reads if you guys want to go check them out. As well as I'll put that playlist, but we're mostly, as well as I'm going to also talk about this, which is from my friend, where I am going to put these in the link down in the description, the links, as well as I will also put in their link as well. So here it is. So I was asking my pe people from my archive server for some sources. So, Laos. Laos is generally speaking from at the same boat as Vietnam and the DPRK. It is a semi-colony of Chi uh, Chinese financial capital, and this is a fact disguised by the fact that both countries hide their capitalism behind a red veneer. But these veneers cannot, be, cannot hide the fact that Laos is one of which its workers are exploited by imperialist Chinese bourgeoisie, furthermore the Laotian government of the LPRP is not a proletarian state of the democratic dictatorship of the proletariat. It is a bourgeois state and a and a comprador of said Chinese imperialism and their financial capital. This is from a Medium article discussing Khrushchevite lie, which remains prevalent in left quote unquote leftist discourse. Death to Khrushchevite revisionism. To demonstrate the nature of the relation between the capitalist class of China and the imperialist bourgeoisie, the Lao state, the compador puppet imperialist bourgeoisie, the Lao masses and the exploited working proletariat and the peasantry in the imperialized country, as it is imperialized. Let us look at a particular example of Laos and Chinese economic relations. Ongoing construction of the Chinese Lao Railway, also called the Vietnam Boten Railway. This railway is planned to connect the capital of Laos to Vietnam to China, enabling transportation of the people and resources between the two. But how could this be bad? I hear a reader crying, surely this is some kind of mutual support nations. This is just a sort of proletarian internationalism, a social society ought to practice, quote unquote. Well, it would be if it was mutual support. <laughs> I just love this own. Uh, let me take a breather. <sighs> but it's not. You see, the project of constructing a railway is a part of the Chinese economic policy called the Belt and Road Initiative. 
And the purpose of the BRB is not to share resources equally amongst nations, it's to show how Chinese imperialist bourgeoisie is to officiate or extract use the value of their nations involved in order to grow offers at the workers' expense, the BRB in the same program which the Chinese capitalists and the bankers' predatory lending has trapped several countries under the yoke of the debt they must pay work to pay off thus under the oh wait thus giving up vast quantities of their labor surplus value to the financial capital of the chinese ruling class it is the same program by the chinese imperialist bourgeoisie throughout the channels like a uh, stock exchange of Hong Kong and other free trade zones have conspired with imperialist bourgeoisie of Russia to divide up the world among themselves for the sake of exploitative growth of the financial capital part two. The BRB is the heart of the economic machinery of the Chinese capitalist imperialism and would be the same socialist government allowing its parasite parasitic imperialist program let like this to infiltrate its borders and exploit its working people for the sake of foreign capitalists question mark certainly not the house economy is not socialist it is a semi-colonial capitalist economy its government is not democratic worker state but a comprador puppet of the chinese bourgeois regime three I am not sure how correct this is. I haven't investigated what left. This is from uh, basically my friend. And next I'll also show you some history as well. Okay. So wait. Let's see. Wait for it. What was it? Okay, Kissinger was likely saying in face had no way to intervene. American imperialism, Southeast Asia. Wait. This is from Comrade Vuchko. Wait. Alright. Okay, he said this. Well, the independent from the USSR, the aided Western capital to form of IMF loans, Vietnam, Laos, Kampuchea under Pol Pot, all attempted new democracy but also also betrayed or invaded in the case of Kampuchea. Albania developed a self ish and as well broke with revisionism. Also, fully implemented collectivism at a point had no, no point had privatization, market reform, self addition Other Europe, Eastern European countries had, despite to little Albania, it is a split face a revisionist who justified Cuba, modern Korean revisionism, as survival. Albania was the most powerful economy in the Balkans for the duration of its existence. The highest living standards under socialism. The other thing is this. It was also a puppet of social imperialism. Because you know what happened? You know what Laos did? Literally, this is what happened. They were classified... They were classified as a capitalist country because they supported social imperialism by invading democratic Kampuchea. Kampuchea was invaded by both Laos and Vietnam. And this was a part of social imperialism of the USSR. And now we'll get to kind of the other thing where it's now like a semi-colony of the bourgeois state of China. There is one source that I got uh, from one of my friends. Uh, here. Let me try to find it. Oh, not there.
Okay. So, here it is. China literally owns most of the electrical grid of Laos now. This is from Reuters. Why is it not opening? Come on. <sighs> okay. Exclusive. Taking power. Chinese firm to run Laos's electrical grid amid default warnings. The poor, small, southeast con Asian country of Laos is set to code a majority of control of its electrical grid to Chinese to a Chinese company as it struggles to stave off potential debt defaults with the people with direct knowledge of the agreement said. And we'll get to it. I was also going to mention this. The other thing when I was watching one of these documentaries that I will link, uh, they mentioned this, that literally, that they were taking foreign aid to start building industry in the capital city so literally it's just funny how they talk about oh some proletarian socialist nation no you need to take ca all of a sudden they need to take some capitalist import from the outer world from the outside world even from their fascist neighbor uh for example like uh thailand i call thailand a fascist state because literally it's literally an autocratic dictatorship under one fucking reactionary feudal monarchy so the deal comes at the time of critics accuse beijing of a debt trap quote-unquote diplomacy to gain strategic advantage in a country struggling to repay loans taken out under president xi jinping the global belt and road and in infrastructure initiative china is Laos's biggest creditor the deal with the blind and landlocked mountainous country Seven million people closer to gain its neighbor. The power grid shareholding deal was signed on Tuesday between the state-owned Electricist du Laos, the EDL, the China Southern Power Grid Corporation, according to the Chinese new state industry, Xu Ha. Sorry if I mispronounced that because I do not speak Mandarin. <laughs> So please correct me if I do not speak Mandarin, my pronunciation. Which not give the details of the to new ownership, three people with knowledge of the matter said it would give a majority control of new electricity du Laos Transmission Company Limited to the EDLT to the Chinese company. Power exports are central to Laos development plans, it will give the Laos state grid better bargaining power with regional countries and start to make a profit. So they're just doing this to make a profit, basically turning their electrical grid into a commodity. Which I remember when I was streaming with New Way Syndicate, uh, that literally, uh, <laughs> Nah, literally, it's just funny, not gonna lie. Just... <laughs> How literally on, uh, when Xi Jinping was on his, his book, Governance of China, he mentioned how he's gonna make electricity into a commodity. And it's supposed to be building socialism, quote unquote. And we're supposed to be trying to get rid of the commodity production forum. The only place where it was able to do it was Campuchia. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, okay. Said one of the people with the direct knowledge of this discussion. The Chinese embassy in Laos said on the website that Laos would give its operation transmission asset. It did not give a shareholding detail but laos can gradually repurchase shares during the operation end quote neither did the e uh edl nor china's southern response to reuters request for comment on the deal the laos and chinese governments did not respond to the request for comment either Reporting Laos's capital of Vietain, Xu Ha quoted Laos's energy and mines minister 
Damn it, I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> Sorry. Some names I cannot pronounce, so... Sorry. As calling its key project, which would benefit the Chinese company's quote-unquote advantages in experience, technology, and human resources, the new company will operate under Laos government regulation, Zhuha reported, but it would not take advantage of China's southern financial and mature experiences in power grid construction operation management. The state-run uh, Vietnam Times said the deal that the EDL would in future invest about $2 billion in the local grid. International connections. Laos has spent heavily on hyper-electronic schemes, many financed by China, in the aim of becoming a quote-unquote battery of Southeast Asia. But those projects along the way of the new Chinese high-speed railway are at central to center of the debt crunch. Default warning, the World Bank estimates in June debt levels would reach up to 26% of the GDP. 2020 of 99% last year. Ratings industry mooting has warned a uh, material probability of default of the term. While Laos has recorded 22 coronavirus cases, no deaths, economic hit hard on terrorism. Laos's debt service obligations around $1.2 billion loans and commercial banks tied bonds mature September. October, Moody said foreign reserves just $864 million in June. According to the central bank, among the companies suffering delayed payments are the Chinese firms behind the electrical projects that are not paying back as expected with the knowledge of the Chinese Southern Agreement. China also is considering postponing the part of the total debt service payments to the people with direct knowledge. China said the government will not immediately respond to the question on discussions. Economically, Laos is going to depend more on China. It is inevitable that Toshier, a Japanese professor who has advised the Laos government's fiscal stability loss would be eligible for the international monetary fund under its COVID-19 financial assistance that released response from 80 countries or benefiting from the two western diplomats but they said it made clear it rather try to find a solution with China that they said an IMF deal would require greater financial transparency yeah, I would never take the IMF deal ever. <laughs> or Chinese deal. Total investment power in transportation, border economic zones. $10 billion according to Xu Ha citing from Laos that it will double investment by Thailand next year. Next biggest study published in 2019 by the Austrian-based Lao Institute put Laos in debt to China at 40% of its G 45% of its GDP. The economic relations of Beijing has strengthened political ties with Laos, its reliable backer of Chinese position on the matter. The South China Sea is a regional associate of the Chinese of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Laos was the first country to endorse Chinese leader Xi Jinping's political message of building community, common destiny, giving China a major strike, the battery of Southeast Asia plan puts Laos in the fast track of becoming a pseudo-province of China, said Brian Eller, Southeast Asia Program Director of the Simon Center Think Tank in Washington. Wow, this article is pretty interesting. Not gonna lie, it's pretty neutral in my opinion. <laughs> so basically, this was written by in September 15th. So basically, they're going to buy up the majority of its electrical grid. So, wow. This shit is crazy. So basically, they're ev this even puts it bigger into the dead trap of China. See, guys? But China is a proletarian nation. It's a win-win deal, guys. It's such a win-win deal. No, it's not. And also... Next. Also, thank you guys for watching. And also... Thank you for even watching my videos in the first place, and thank you to all the subscribers. 
of mine. I'll put all these sources in the link down description if any of you guys want to go check it out. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.